Buenos dias, Wildcats. Today is Thursday, May 28th. I'm Griffin. And I'm Brittany. And we are your hosts for today's show. We've got a few announcements, your lunch, and a sports update coming right up. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. The end of the year is quickly approaching. Here are some important dates to remember. The last day to check out library books will be tomorrow. Promenade will start at 4.30 p.m. tomorrow, followed by prom tomorrow evening at the mansion. The varsity dinner is coming up on Tuesday, June 9th. Finals begin on Monday, June 15th. And graduation is on Thursday, June 18th. Any student interested in playing football next year who missed the meeting last week, please see Mr. Nicolino on B14 as soon as possible. And now here's Malini to tell us what's in the cafeteria today. For today's lunch, we have popcorn chicken with whole grain pasta, a veggie grab bag with ranch and hummus, and your choice of a low-fat milk. Back to you guys in the studio. The spring sports season is winding down. How did your teams do this year? Here's Emily with a recap. On Tuesday in Wildcat Sports, boys baseball lost against New Egypt and ended their season 10-2. and Lacrosse ended their season 2-15, and and softball ended their season with a winning record of 18-7. and Way to go, Wildcats. Back to you guys in the studio. Also in Wildcat Sports, good luck to Michaela Muse, Don Maffa, and Ken Karcher, who are, complete, or who are competing in the track state championships this Friday. Now, yesterday, we aired part one of our Student of the Month interviews. Here's part two. So were you surprised when you won Student of the Month? Um, yeah, I didn't really think that I would ever get it, so <laughs> I was pretty shocked, but... It's pretty happy. How happy? Really happy. Can you define how happy you were? Yeah. Ecstatic. I was not really expecting it. I was surprised. I was really surprised. I was really surprised when I got sued in a month. I really wasn't expecting it, but I was just really surprised. Um, my reaction when I got the student of the month was I was actually pretty happy. Um, I never thought I would get the student of the month. Oh, that's cool. Exceeding your exp own expectations. So what kind of activities are you involved in? Um, I do Spanish club and human relations and our honor society. I do student council. That's pretty good. What are you doing student council? I, well, this year I was treasurer, so I counted money, but next year I'm executive president, so I'm kind of like in charge of everything. Um, drawing and painting and like singing, and I'm also involved in um, community service, such as feeding the hungry in Camden, and yeah. <laughs> And acting, I like acting, and I'm in the French club. Hi, Miss Kappa. <laughs> I'm involved in baseball, and like, it's, it's a school. It's baseball right now. No other sports right now, pretty much. Um, I like soccer, I do track, and pretty much that's it. All right, so your favorite subject, what is it? Um, probably art, because um, I like it, and Miss Braverman's really awesome, so she like pushes you to be really good. History. Who teaches history for you? Miss Mary Beth Danowski. Do you like your teacher? I do like Miss Danowski. You heard it here. My favorite subject, I'd have to say biology, even though I'm not taking it this year. Last year I took it, but I really love biology. My favorite subject is math. I would have to say my favorite subject is English with Miss Toscano. That's like my favorite period of the day. That's eighth period. What inspires you as a human being? Um, probably like music and just other people and stuff like that. Class of, uh, clash of Clans and money. Why? Clash of Clans is life and money is very important in life. Um, knowing the fact that it'll all work out in the end with hard work, that's what inspires me. Uh, what inspires me is my family, like to keep me going for everything, and that's pretty much it. Um, my mom inspires me. That is so sweet. All right. All right. So, what advice would you give to future candidates who could win sooner in the month? Um, I guess just be on top of your schoolwork and try to like get involved and show up for school, even though it's really hard. <laughs> Don't be a bum. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm really lazy, but, like, I still get my stuff done. Do good and get your stuff done. What else? That's about it. In everything you do, do your best, and, yeah, that's it. Be the best. Try to be the best that you can be. Just keep working hard and do your best in school. That's all I can give. Talk a lot. <laughs> um, be a good student. Don't talk back to your teachers. That's pretty much it. You know, work hard and yeah, have determination. All right. Thank you, Susan. Well, our show has come to an end. But before we go, we'd like to wish Michael Connolly, Anya Ross, and Elise Velasquez a very happy birthday. From, From all, all of us, us in the, the TV, TV studio, studio thanks, thanks for, for watching. And have a fantastic, fantastic day. day. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 me